Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm here with the next update for my project Apocalypse. This is a project that I started last year and I'm doing it a little bit differently this year compared to last year because last year I focused more on rotating through my collection and using all of my lipsticks and just getting to my collection a bit more and this year I'm purely focused on finishing up products. I did have a product pan part in this project last year as well but this year I purely had the product pan part. So I'm working on five lip products at any point in time and I'm just trying to finish them up so I'll go through the five products I'm currently panning uh, and let you know if I'm going to roll something in or not. Uh, but before I jump into any of that if you're new here please consider subscribing. I would love to have you in the family. Let's jump into the video. So the first one is one or two NYX lip products in this project and the last one is actually the second one but the one I'm going to talk about now is this one right here which is my NYX soft matte lip cream in the shade Antwerp. This is a really beautiful shade, let me swatch it out for you. This is what it looks like, so it's kind of like a raspberry pink, it does have some warmness to it but it's still like a, I would say like a neutral tone pink because it's not necessarily very warm but it's still like a very summery kind of pink. I, I really like this color. Uh, this one I am actually doing pretty well with. I can definitely see, feel like it's getting lower. Um, I don't think I'm near finishing it yet. But I can definitely feel it getting uh, both dry as well as lower in the tube. I don't think there's too much left in here. And I have used this one quite a lot in the past month. I actually reached for this one 21 times. Which brings me to a total of uh, 32 uses in this project. It has been in for two months now. And yeah, this one I really do love. I think it's beautiful. It doesn't go with every single look, but I have used this a lot on its own if I want to go for a bold lip or as I mix it with a lip product that I'm going to talk about later. And that's kind of how I got in so many use out of it. And I'm not sure how long I have left with this one. I'm hoping to maybe have this one out in like two months time, but we'll see as well as like, you know, when in two months time, we're going to get into end of summer. So I think at that time I want to roll these kind of brighter shadows out, ocean brighter lip products out rather. Uh, anyway, so we'll see how I go, but this is the first one and it's staying in. The second lip product is a lipstick, it's like a traditional lip bullet lipstick, and this one is my Revlon lip butter in the shade Candy Apple. This is my last standing lip butter from Revlon, and this is how much I have left in it. This product right here, I have used once in the past month for a total of seven. However, this one has now even been in for four months, and I only use it seven times. I tried reaching for it this month, I said to myself I'm going to reach for this one way more this past month. However, I just haven't and because of that I have actually decided to declutter this one. Um, let me swatch it out for you so you can see what it looks like. So you'll have to excuse the slightly awkward swatch it is done with my left hand. But you can see here it's like just a sheer red colour and it is pretty. But when I do it for a red lip I just want to go for something a bit more bold. I don't like these kind of sheer reds because red for me is like a standard out colour. Um, you know, I can't really wear this with bright eye looks, um, so do, when I do want to wear a red, I want that to be like the main focus on my look, and this kind of sheer red doesn't really give me that, so that's why I haven't reached for it. I thought I could pair it with like a red lip liner or other kind of things, but I just don't like that glossy effect, and this color is not my perfect red either. So I just decided to cut out this one. So it will be leaving this project. I will be replacing it. Um, it's a bit of a shame because I really did want to finish this one up. But I did get, get a decent amount of use out of this one as it is. You can see hopefully there in the tube how much like further down it is. So I have definitely used it quite a bit. Um, and like again this is how much I have left. So I probably used... I don't know, at least a third, no, probably more than that, two-fifths of this maybe. So I'm really happy with it anyway. And again, this will be leaving my collection. I will show you the progress lines on the paper as well. It didn't move at all this month, but I will show you later when I get to showing you the, the paper and all the progress. Uh, but first off, we're going to go through this lip liner right here, which is my second red product in this project. And this one is the Rafai lip liner. And I did some research this past month, and I think Rafai is... Uh, brand of Canibo, is that how you say it? Canibo? Uh, which is a brand, I don't know if you're aware of it, it's a brand that I know my mum used a ton. I don't know if it was popular like in the US or in the UK but she's, I mean we're from Sweden but I think it's like a Asian brand. She used Canibo or Canibo or however you say it, so much. I think it was quite an expensive brand and I don't know if this one was like a spin-off brand or what but it was part of their line. Um, I remember she had like the mascaras and like that's the only thing she used like from like the only mascaras she used I mean and she had lots of other products as well so 
this one i think again i got this from her so that's probably why uh, she had it but that's beside the point but i just wanted to update you because i keep saying like i don't know what this is from i don't know what this refrigerator brand is but that is where it's from. My main goal this month was just to finish this lip liner and I did actually use this one uh, five additional times for a total of 12 and as you can see the lip liner is very very small now and hopefully you can see as well on the top that I haven't been able to sharpen this one anymore which means that I am finished with it. Now when I try to sharpen it this bottom part just comes off so I can only hold on to this little bit here when I sharpen it and as you can imagine I, I just can't sharpen it anymore. So I'm happy to call this one done. Um, I got a lot of use out of this one and I used this again, I feel like quite a lot. I mean, it was only five uses, uh, but when I did wear this one, I only had to reapply it a couple of times. I think I used this one two days out of the month, like all over my lip, and that was like the lip product for the day. And I really did like this towards the end. It wasn't my favorite red, it was a little bit too deep, but I got a couple of compliments on it in the office when I wore it, so yeah, it was nice, but I'm happy to have it out. And since I have now gone through them, let me go ahead and show you the progress. So let me see, the red one lip butter is right here, so it didn't move much in this project as you can see. And here you have the uh, lip liner, it started up here, and then um, this is where it ended up being, that's where the final progress were. But it is marked as empty but this bottom bit there is just what i can't sharpen so those are the uh products that i have marked but let's go through the last two products before we talk about the roll-ins and also by the way before we go through the other products i just wanted to show you the swatch of the lip liner there so you can see it's a little bit of a deeper red but that is what it looked like the next product is actually one that i'm wearing today i'm wearing it in combination with a deeper lipstick on the outer rims because this isn't one it's a very very nude lipstick but this is my colourpop uh, matte x lippy 6 in the shade she bad which looks like this i don't mark this one it is a spin up but i don't mark it because it is squished in the tube and when i roll it up you can probably see there i can't like get it back down i rolled it up a little bit i'm gonna do a little bit more uh, and then if i spin it down it just won't go down because it is squished in the bullet i can like very very gently push it down but it doesn't it doesn't really work foolproof anyway so i try not to roll this one up more than i need to so with this one i have reached for this one uh, 12 times in the past month if i haven't said and this one has been in for two months now and i have a total of 24 uses so i have reached for this one 12 times on average per month which is really good uh, i'm going to swatch this for you so you can see what it looks like but again it is on my lips as well but there you have that lipstick you can see it's like a pinky kind of nude um again it's on my lips but i really like this one it's quite nude on its own but i like it as a mixer this is the one that i have mixed with the uh, antwerp lipstick to create more of a kind of peachier nude i usually use more of this one than I do of the antwerp one though but they do combine into quite a nice shade and um, so i have used this one quite a bit that way and i have mixed it with other lip liners and other lipsticks similar to what i do today so this one i have no idea how much i have left in it like if i spin this down i can go quite far down but i don't know how much i have left i'm hoping that it won't take too too long but it's one that i can reach for on a somewhat regular basis so hopefully if i just keep using it i will eventually have it done and then lastly, like I mentioned earlier, we have another NYX lip product and that is my NYX body gloss in the shade Apple Strudel. This is like a very light kind of peachy shadow. Don't mind this bottom here, that's where it has been uh, kind of bleached by the sun when I had it standing in a like near a window for a while uh, and then the middle part here is kind of where i mixed it up again and that's the true color this one is my most used product this month and i have used this one 23 times which is really really good it has also been enough for two months and the previous month i used it 15 times so i now have a total usage of 38 and with this one i am getting a massive windowing hopefully you can see there i'm just swirling the wand around a little bit um I hope you can see there but it is like massive windowing so i'm definitely getting lower with this one it still is a lot of thing coming out on the wand and i obviously am not near taking the stopper out yet if i decide to do that but yeah i am very close to this one again though i do think this one will take me at least two more months to get through because it is still a lot of product in here i mean you can see the, the packaging it looks very much like pink still uh, and this is a clear packaging so there's obviously a lot of product left in here but I'm very happy with my usage on this one. I mainly use this one at home because it's not my favorite lip gloss color. It's a little bit too pale on me, but it's really nice and hydrating. So when I'm working from home, this is usually the lip product that I go for. So if I try to remember to reach for this one more working from home, uh, especially as like my reapplication lipstick throughout the day, 
or like lip gloss used to keep my lips hydrated i'm sure i can get through this one quicker so hopefully again in like the next two three months this one should fingers crossed be done and just for reference there you can see that lip gloss so you can see it's quite light it's very i mean it's lighter than this one which is what the one i'm wearing and this one again is they mix with a deeper shade but this one again is even paler and it's definitely more peachy as well so that is the three lipsticks that are or lip products that are staying in the project then it comes down to what i'm rolling in the first thing i'm going to roll in is one that i'm going to roll in to replace those two reds because i do want to have another red in this project because it is one that i want to finish this year this is a comebacker from last year. This is one lip product that I tried to pan last year, but I used to didn't quite get there with the panning. And that is my Rouge Pore Couture lipstick from YSL in the shade 13. So it looks like this on the outside, uh, and on the inside it looks like this. So you can see it's like an orangey red. This is a very slippery formula, so um, you have to be quite careful with it. And this is how much I have left on it. I'm going to show you the progress lines in a second when I introduce both of the lip products. But this one is a beautiful like orange tone red. And I love using those kind of shades in summer. And you can see it down here. So hopefully I can get quite a lot of use out of this one. And it will be my go-to red now until I finish it up. So I'm excited to roll this one in. It's going to be another bold product. So it means I'm going to have like two more kind of bold shades. And then for now two more kind of lighter shades uh, or more everyday shades i guess um, and then you'll see what i rolled in for my last product but yeah this is going to be one of my bold lip options and i think with this one this is a bit more orange leaning um so i have this one and then i have this one which is a bit more pink leaning if i want that so yeah i think those two will give me a lot of variety so that is the first product i'm introducing and then the last product that i am rolling in is another lipstick like a traditional lipstick and that comes from chanel this is one of the rouge allure lipsticks in the shade 90 pimp Ponte, which is this kind of peachy orangey nude you can see it right there this one i have quite a lot left in you can see there is a bullet um if i roll it down where the plastic is that is how much i have left so it's definitely quite full it's one of my most full lipsticks that i have rolled into this project and you can see the swatch of it down here it's still quite a light nude but it's definitely giving a bit more like peachy kind of wild vibes um yeah i would say peachy not coral Um, this one is more coral leaning this one is more peach and i think again this one will give a bit more variety because this one here is quite cool toned this one is too light for me to wear out and i think this one although it is light i think it's going to be a nice nude for like those warm tone looks uh, so hopefully i can get quite a lot of use out of this one um so it's kind of like an in between it's slightly more colorful than a completely nude lip color but it's still i think neutral enough that i can wear with a bit more bolder look so that is the last one i'm introducing and i think that one's going to take quite a while but i also think there's going to be a bit more of an easier product to reach for compared to for example that red so hopefully it won't take too too long to finish up but before i wrap up the video let me just show you the lipsticks where i'm starting with them on the paper so uh, let me see down there is the red lipstick so yeah you can see the, the starting point right there and then all the way up here is where i'm starting with that uh, chanel lipstick so again it is quite full um it's the one of the lipsticks that are most full out of the ones that i rolled in uh, i think honey love which is one of the mac lipsticks i was working on earlier this year which i did actually finish up was um slightly higher or about the same no actually i think this one is still taller but honey love was a very very easy lipstick to reach for for me so i'm hoping this one is going to be a similar one but we'll see how it goes uh but that is it for my update for my product apocalypse i really hope you enjoyed this update let me know how you're doing with your lipstick or lip product panning this year how many products have you finished up so far and otherwise i hope you're having a lovely day wherever you are and i'll catch you in my next one bye guys